Something that Disney is best known for are musicals. Movie musicals, or now, Broadway musicals. Disney has had a huge impact on the American musical. All the way back to 1937's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, to last year's Frozen 2. Disney has been making musicals for more than 80 years at this point. We could talk about Disney's movie musicals for, let's face it, all day, because there's so many, but that's not what I'm here to do today. There's a little street in New York City that, I don't know if you ever heard of it, it's called Broadway. In 1991, Disney came out with a movie called Beauty and the Beast. This movie was a huge hit and sparked the early Disney renaissance in the 90s. Read this. There's no pictures. Well, some people use their imagination. It also sparked something else. Broadway slash Disney musicals. Beauty and the Beast was the first Disney musical to be on Broadway. And the reason that Disney theatrical productions exist. Founded by Ron Logan. Disney theatrical productions is the musical production company and a division of Disney Theatrical Group. Beauty and the Beast opened in 1994 at the Palace Theater. Beauty and the Beast ran into 2007. The next Broadway musical was The Lion King in 1997 and is still running and is making millions of dollars each year. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame was in 1999. Tarzan? I didn't even know Tarzan had a musical. What is he going to sing about? Anyway, that's a weird musical. <laughs> Tarzan was in 1990, 1990, sorry, 2006. Mary Poppins in 2008. Newsies in 2012. Also, The Little Mermaid in 2007, which replaced Beauty and the Beast. And Aladdin in 2010 and Frozen in 2018. That's just a little history on Disney and Broadway. Before Disney started making musicals on Broadway, Broadway was not a very safe place in New York City, and families didn't want to go there. Like, you saw that guy just fall from a fire hydrant. Streets were trashy, the people were not clean, and Broadway itself was not very clean. Because New York was such a dump, families didn't come to Broadway, and it was struggling. Struggling desperately. After the success of the musical movies Disney had before, then-CEO Michael Eisner decided to put Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. I mentioned that history already. Now Beauty and the Beast is a big success on Broadway. It's time for another movie to be made into a, di uh, into a Broadway musical. The Lion King is the perfect candidate. This musical is a big success and a huge deal and forces New York City officials to clean up Broadway a little bit and create up, clean up New York as a whole. The theater that Lion King is housed in, New Amsterdam Theater, at the time was completely run down and abandoned. Disney wants to renovate the historic theater and make it Lion King's new home. And to help with the revival of Broadway, New York City says yes, and the beautiful New Amsterdam is, re is renovated and ready for the Lion King opening night. Times Square is also being cleaned up and changed from not very good side of town to a family friendly tourist spot as, a known, as it's known today. With restaurants like Bubba Gump, oh I haven't had Bubba Gump in a long time, it's a very good shrimp there. Shops like the huge Disney store, and weird <laughs> knockoff costume characters. I forgot how bad they are. I haven't been to New York City in a long time. God, they're so weird. 
<laughs> now that Disney is on Broadway and having immense talent, other companies are trying to bring their musicals onto Broadway. Disney, uh, Broadway, sorry, Broadway is back on the map. Millions of people are coming to Broadway to see shows and have their dreams come true for some actors and actresses. Some other theaters are being renovated as well, like the New Victory Theater, New Amsterdam Theater, the Palace Theater, Empire Theater, now AMC Empire 25, the Selwyn and the Selwyn Theater, now American Airlines Theater. Now Broadway is a vibrant place that lights up every night, a place that has given millions of people joy throughout the years, and a place for people to live their dream. Also, a place for very good musicals, if I do say so myself. Like up here, hold on, hold on. Up here, like School of Rock? That's a good musical. I didn't see it, but still, good musical. I personally like musicals. I don't love them as other people do. Other people love musicals. I like them. Of course, Disney musicals are my favorite. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button and consider subscribing. I put out videos every weekend. It would mean a lot to me if you did consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Have a magical day.